Anyone who's read Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone in English or one of its many translations, such as French, Japanese, Hebrew, American, will be familiar with Hogwarts' pet policy. It is stated quite clearly that there is a one pet per student policy, and that that pet may be an owl, or a cat, or a toad. Now, owls are the most popular because you can use them to deliver mail. Funny how animals that do things for you are often lauded as the best of creatures, whereas animals that are preoccupied with themselves are frequently ridiculed. It seems hypocritical of humans, but I digress. Oh, kitty! Come back here and let me love you. Just my neighbor's cat. She snubs me. She doesn't even notice that I exist. Abby! Fine be that way. I wrote an entire poem, not a masterpiece by any stretch, about the apparent absence of cats at Hogwarts. Technically, each student could bring a cat if they wanted to, yet we only really seem to see Crookshanks and Mrs. Norris. We hear that a couple of other students have a cat, and we see them on platform nine and three quarters, but that's it. And then there are the toads. According to Hagrid, back in the 90s when the books are set, Toads were terribly old-fashioned, but you know these days all the hipster children are bringing them. This is my toad, Alfonso. He likes underground wizard rock. You probably haven't even heard of his favorite bands. However, I don't understand why toads are allowed at Hogwarts at all. They're a lot harder to keep track of than cats or owls. And then there's this. A chicken egg hatched beneath a toad would produce a gigantic serpent possessed of extraordinarily dangerous powers. This is a required textbook for every single student at Hogwarts. I'm surprised there isn't a horde of basilisks roaming the grounds. Then we come to the students who don't care about the Hogwarts pet policy at all. They are all Gryffindors. First, there's Lee Jordan with his pet Tarantula. Clearly at no point during his first two years at Hogwarts did Hagrid take him aside and go, mate, don't keep a pet spider, it doesn't end well. Then there are the Weasleys. First there's Scabbers the rat. What gets me about Scabbers is that he originally belonged to Percy. Perfect, prefect, rule-abiding Percy brought a rat to school. What's up with that? And finally there's Ginny's Pygmy Puff Arnold. Fun side note, Pygmy Puffs are actually miniature puff skeins. Ron had a pet puffskin as a child, but Fred killed it when he used it for bludger practice, only to later breed miniature puffskins as an adult to turn a profit. Did he offer Ron one as a sign of repentance? Nope. So yeah, Hogwarts pet policy seems pretty lax. Can I take my pet Gnarl to Hogwarts? What pet would you take with you if you were a student?